Trish. And I'm Josie. And you're at... Trish's Creative Treasures. Yes, I've got my little co-host today. Her, uh, her stepdaddy Wesley had to go to work, which he was to have off, but she, they need a babysitter. So, Nana's home, so Nana watch her, right? So, I haven't been around, guys, I and I apologize gone. so much. And why is because life has been stressful, crazy. My health took a poop. Um, and I just had so much to do. I mean, it was just way too much. And I had to get myself kind of cleared in the head and some relaxation. Um, because between mine and Jim's family, we are now a family of 20. And we had house guests. There was noise. There was kids running. And I don't mind. I just wasn't doing videos when there's always... Ah! You know, and you know you aren't going to get any quiet or anything. So, we are going to open up the rest of my Advents. Now, I am missing some because I left when I came downstairs and I knew we were going to camp downstairs. I had put everything organized on my bed the way it was supposed to be to bring down for me to open up and continue my videos. Well, needless to say, I didn't do my videos and my dog has yarn from one end of the room to the other and out in my craft room and I am missing two of my witchy apothecary which I'll find when I get upstairs I am missing number 19 out of my villains and I have all of the Muppets ones so I need to when I get upstairs to find everything but I guess everything's got to get cleaned up before I can go upstairs again lovely I know I've been salvaging what yarn, drinking breath yarn downstairs that was in a bag. So I was wrapping up yarn and salvaging what she didn't ruin. So we're going to start with number 20 of the villains. I know. What and I don't know what they are, but if you would like to know what each one is on my Trisha's Creative Treasures group page on you on Facebook, I put the list of each what yarn kind of, of what it was it? so this is beautiful this has got some dark blues greens burgundies let's see if you can see all that so Whoa. i'm not sure who that would be i i I honestly think... Who do you think that would be as a villain, Josie? Villain means the bad guy. Ursula. Urs no, that's not Ursula. I think we already had Ursula. Hmm. This is more of a man thing. Hmm, the only one that I think of a man villain is, um, the... Remember that? My, like, that movie that that the villains and I think it's um the purple haired gold dad because he's kind of like a villain. You mean like in Tiana, Princess and the Frog guy? No. Well, we'll have to look it up and find out. So if you want to know, go on over to my Trisha's Creative Treasures page. If you're not a member, go ahead and ask to be a member. You can show whatever you your makes. You can post whatever you want as no, long as it's crafty dying. and not mean. We're very nice and loving to each other. So that's pretty much on my only rule. It's just be kind and appreciate each other. So um, if you want to become a member, just join. Okay, we're going to do number 22. I already opened that. Yep, go ahead. You can open that up. She's having fun opening up my presents. Ooh, now this is very pretty, and I don't know who this would be either, but look at that. It is yellow, a little black, and some orange, and red. Who do you think it is? And blue with some black speckles. Nana. It reminds me of, like, I don't know. I see eagle with it, but I don't know that any, but there's no eagle thing. Nana? What, honey? What what does this remind you of? I don't know. It's I'm what dumb is... when it comes to the villain things. I thought I would be good at this, but no, I'm not. 
That looks like eggs with cheese in it. Eggs with butter, cheese. And, and with blueberry sauce and strawberry sauce. So, blueberry sauce and strawberry sauce on eggs and cheese? That would be a villain in my mouth. That sure would be. Ugh. Well, we'll have to find out who that one is. Okay, get this one. Two. Now, this is number two because on number two, I opened 22 by accident. So, if you go to look, you have to look at number two for this one. Hmm, who would it be? Yep, who's it going to be? Well, that's very pretty. I have no idea. I have no idea. It is purple and uh, like aquamarine blue and some red. Who do y'all think this could be? Um, I, I, I think I know. Who is it? Who do you think? I, I, I honestly think. Who's the villain from Princess and the Frog? That, I don't know what his name is, honey. No. He's the one that wears that dark purple coat. He's the bad one that does all the voodoo stuff. He's the oh, one yeah, that changed yeah, her yeah. into a frog. So, go ahead and look it up. Because we're going to look it up when we're done, right? I think it's him, okay? Okay, you think it's him? Now it's I don't even know what his name is. I think it's... Number 23. Yeah, lucky you did open number 23. So, yeah, guys, when I find the other two of these upstairs, because when I was upstairs, I had all my gifts, like, out around my tree upstairs. And they said, stay there Nana. nicely, but unfortunately, again, I, they're not there anymore. Nana, again, oh, this I is think beautiful. This is egg and cheese with strawberry sauce, or orange sauce, banana sauce. Okay, so she says this one's egg and cheese with banana, orange, and strawberry sauce. <laughs> it would be a villain in your mouth, yes. But this is beautiful. Look at that. I gotta get it. It looks like it's shining. Let's see if I can get the light to. Nope, that didn't work. Let's put this there and see if that helps. There we go. That's better. Let's so, yeah, go check it out because we're gonna. And we got Last one more. Four. Ew. It's 24. 24, yep. Just come on. You can pull it right over the top, honey. Oh. Yep, just pull it here. Do you want me to get that part off? Yeah. Yeah. Just don't open the whole thing. I won't. I just took the string off. Yeah, she's a little stinker. I don't think this is food. This is definitely not a food. But this is very pretty. Let's see. There, there's that true color. No. This reminds me of the spirit yarn um, from Mandala. But as far as the villain goes, to me I would say Hades, but I think we already had Hades. But I'm not sure because Hades was always like the bright blue. His hair is this color. If you watch it in the... Um, Oh, what's that new Disney movie, you guys? The Descendants. So when you watch the, I think it's part three, Descendants 3. Oh, that's, what, I, that, that's yeah, what I was talking about. Oh, Hades. Yeah. yeah, his hair. That looks like his hair. So I don't know. We'll have to find out. But nah, that's my guess. I got these out. Okay, let's do this one first. Let's do my roots and apothecary. It, it has one. like, there's like little pieces. Yeah, it sounds like almost, uh, it smells good, whatever it is. It smells like lotion or something. It smells like lotion. Maybe it's bath salts. Mm, bath salt? The non-edible to make you crazy and, you know, turn you into the living zombie. Drake is like bath salts. Okay, let me get this out of here. Oh, hold on. This is herbs. Okay. It is a mix of herbs. Hold on. I, hold on, hold on. What are these? What are, what are um, I need to get like a little bowl or something. Nana. Draken, can you go out there and get me a paper plate, please? I I found this. Yep, we gotta see what this is. We gotta find stuff in here. Draken, go get me a paper. Hey, go get a paper plate real quick, please. What? Go get me a paper plate real quick. It's herbs, it's cinnamon and clove and anise. 
Well, you can, I wouldn't eat the actual herb because it wouldn't taste too good, but you can put it in stuff. Get me a paper plate, please, so I can get this. But can I still eat it? I would it. not advise to eat you it. Could you could put it in water and then the flavor infuses into the water. You don't eat the woody part. These are like woody ones, but they're spices. The cinnamon is like a wood stick. Same with cloves are very hard and star anise. Yeah. So they're like sure woody from Toy Story. Yep. So oh, let's see what all we got in here. I think it's supposed to be like a loose. Hold on. <gasps> oh. Okay, did you lose What's this? That? You lost the S thing. So this is a beautiful altarpiece. Um, it came with one of like those S things, so I don't know if it's to hang, but it also has, oh, here's the S part, like you would hang it on something. So, and here's the beautiful herbs. It's anise and caraway seed and allspice berries. Um, yeah. Definitely has cinnamon in it. Not sure what all else, but it it smells so good. I put them all together. And nice. Thank you, Stops. Oh, Star, yeah. Solaris Moon. I will probably not burn this i will probably use this as a simmering These potpourri really type good. thing because it just smells divine and you start cooking this it's gonna make my whole house smell wonderful all those beautiful herbs it tastes so good to pick up yep she's my little she loves uh, the herbs it's okay she loves when we go in my herb cabinet and have all the herbs right you gonna be my little witch in training? What's herbs? Herbs. This is herbs, honey. They're called herbs. I haven't went in the cabinet and get herbs. Yeah, we haven't gone in the cabinet and got herbs for a while, but you used to love it. But yeah, she's my she's my little witchy. She loves all my witchy stuff, right? Mm -hmm. She doesn't understand it, but I don't I wouldn't ever hey. without her mother say so, teach her anything, so um, can you hold on one second? Um, okay. Oops, sorry guys. My my tripod decided sorry, to start falling. Yep. Yeah. So, okay. Let's we I had to take a moment there because Tiana was calling me, so I was not going to skip that phone call because I wanted to know how Pierce is doing. Because if you have watched, hold on, let me talk first. If you watched my um, video of finishing up my gifts from Ray, I was telling you that um, the day after Christmas. Dylan's boss called him and said that he has positively tested for COVID and that Dylan had to get tested. Dylan tested positive. Tiana tested positive. And the baby, Pierce, my grandson, tested positive. And they had to take Pierce to the hospital because his breathing was so shallow. So for two days, he's been hooked up to tubes, oxygen, you know, alarms, bells, whistles, whatever, you know, he was just, when I would see him in all of that, it just broke my heart. But she called me to say, look, Nana, we are off all the tubes. So he is now not connected to anything. They're seeing how he is going to react oxygen-wise without it, that his breathing can be okay. He's very congested, but there's no mucus. His, um, sinus cavity is just so inflamed so every hour they've got to squirt up some saline and just suck out what they can get out which is helping him breathe better so her and dylan have not really slept much for the past two days in the hospital with him but if he does well overnight and into tomorrow afternoon and doesn't need to go back on the oxygen or anything else he'll get to go home tomorrow so, yes, just keep all of them in your prayers or whatever you believe in. Send us some healing energy to Pierce. Because he's only six weeks old and that's scary. It really is. So, yeah. All right. Enough. Because we just had good news, so we're happy. But I had to go down that rabbit hole to uh, explain all that. So, what number do you have? Uh, Eight. Okay. So, the bag says... I fell down the chimney and landed on a flaming hot goose. That is Rizzo the Rat. This is from the Muppets um, Christmas Carol. So this one is Rizzo the Rat. I love Rizzo the Rat. He's, he's funny. Number nine. 
It says, I'm here for the food. Go ahead and open that up. I'm here for the food. Why don't you just do this? This is easier, honey. Ooh, I think I know. <laughs> is it a real one? No, these ones are Muppets. So I think it's the pink. I think <laughs> it's the piggies because the pigs were the one that says, I'm just here for the food. So it's the piggies. Oh, nice and pink. Oops, oops. Don't bump the table or the whole thing's going to fall, honey. Here, hold on. Sit up a second. Let me get this one. Do, 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 do. Okay, oh, one? this one says the Marleys were dead to begin with. So that is Gonzo saying that as Charles Dickinson. So here is this one, all blue and white, because Gonzo's blue. So there we go. That is number 11. Oh, you missed number 10 right here. So, number 10, let me see what it says. It says, hello, London, goodbye, lunch. I don't know who says that. Mm. Open it like that, tear it there. Hello, London, goodbye, lunch. I'm not sure who said that, but this is beautiful. Look at this. It's purple. Oh, it's purple and pink, like, absolutely gorgeous. And, um... Just what so you know, it? I will have it in the description box below. But everything from the Muppets There's came from Misfits Yarns. Hold on. Came from Misfit Yarns. And my one for the villains. Oh, her name's Nina. It's in German, so I don't know how to say it. And I can't I know. And it's like K-N-U-E-L-L-E or something like that. And something else. I will have it in the description box below. They make beautiful yarns. Go check them out. If you're into all the witchy stuff or um, herbs or just natural remedies, go check out Solaris Moon at um, the Witch's Root Apothecary. She will also be in my descri description box below. I am so pleased with everything that I've gotten from her that I will continue to order from her. And I will get another box next year for Christmas. And same with these ladies with the yarn. So can't wait for another year. But yes, go check them out. One but this thing. is the last Muppets one. Does it have a tag on it? What does it say? Life is full of sweet surprises. And that's the beginning of a song. But that would be Kermit the Frog. What? Yep. Who said That was the beginning of the song that Kermit the Frog sang. Mm. Okay, so let's see if it is. Let's see what it is. It needs to be green if it is, right? It needs to be green. This is the big tamale here. Huh? Oh, I think this is like a bit of everything. Look, this is gorgeous. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. Oh, my. I don't want to open it, but I do. Let me get my fingers in here in the right place. Look at this. Oh. This is going to be gorgeous, crocheted up. Oh, my, 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 my. Why are we just I'm going to have to figure out something special. I don't know if I want to do... I can might I do, like, maybe one? a bag. Yes, you can throw the paper away. Maybe I'll make a bag or something with the Muppets once you yeah, can ever turn them. <laughs> but, yes, there is that. That is beautiful. Mm, it smells like nice new yarn. So that is all my advents, guys. I am, like I said, missing one out of the villain. So when that is found, I will show that to you. And I'm missing two for my witch's apothecary, which I'm sure is probably behind a dresser where my the tree set up. I just have to be able to get upstairs and look. But I have too much to do before That's after all. New Year's. I'll be able to go back upstairs because I won't have to be doing this, this, and that. So it is what it is. But I have to do my giveaways yet. Um, but I have to wait till I can get back upstairs to get the rest of my gifts because Draken said the dog has moved my basket and everything's all over the place. And so 
I've got to find everything now. So I'm going to do next my video for the giveaways, but I'm going to do for the, the last three that I had done, and then I will be doing a to be continued till I can find my other prizes. I just feel bad that I'm not able to get this done on time, and I couldn't even mail out my Christmas cards because I got money swiped off my card. Yeah. I had money saved to be able to do all my mailing for my cards and for all my gifts. So when I get my next um, disability amount, I will be able to mail everything out. So please be patient with me, guys. I apologize so much. It just totally messed up our whole Christmas. We were there the night before Christmas Eve finishing up our Christmas shopping. And here we are with three carts full of stuff. Yeah, three carts full of stuff, which was all the food for Christmas dinner. It was all the snacks and candies and stuff that we got for the kids. And I had to finish my Christmas shopping because I had to do all the guys. I didn't get anything for the guys yet. I had to finish Odessa. I had to get Tina. And I just had so many. Please put my, my knitting machine down, Joe. Please put it down. So, yes, as this is, I'm making this my Vlogmas day i don't even know what the date is today let's see today is the 28th so i have missed since the 18th so i've missed 10 days i can never stick to doing these because because like if i didn't have all this crap wrong with me i wouldn't have to worry about it but i do have all this crap wrong with me and it just makes it really hard sometimes to stick to doing this so, I mean, if I was upstairs and all my stuff was there, I would be okay. But I'm downstairs and I have to depend on Draken and Jim. And I don't know if you guys understand what I mean to send a man to find something. They're blind. You can tell them exactly right where it is, right where it should be. And I do find it. And then you go to look and you're like, it, it's right here, right where I told you it was. Oh, I, I didn't see it. And that's what I live with. Mm, that's how it is with men or kids or whatever to find what you need Nana. but considering that it's not where I put it that Acadia decided to go all hell and rip us and I think she's doing out of spite because she's no longer allowed in my living room because she has ruined one too many things of furniture and carpets because she'll just pee on anything Nana. you can take her outside and walk her She'll be outside, but she'll come inside and just have to pee. She's done that ever since we had her. It has nothing to do, like, some people are like, well, maybe it's because you got cats. No, she did that before we had cats. So, because I just had to get rid of an almost new sectional yeah. and had no furniture for a while. Um, and I just got beautiful. It's new to me, but it's like brand new furniture. Like, you can tell, like, the recliner is used because that's probably what was sat on most. But the rest of it is nice and firm. And it's beautiful. It's this dark gray and it goes around my whole wall. There is enough for everybody to sit on plus extra. Nana. So what, honey? I'm piping, I'm petting Piper. Oh, powder. Piper's letting you pet her. Yeah. Wow. On her head. So I have been working on some stuff. I'm almost finished with this. This is my diamond painting. So I only have this upper part to do yet. And then my diamond painting for my snowman is done. Yeah. My gnome one is still upstairs that I need to finish when I get back upstairs. So yes, this is the diamond painting that I've been working on for the past few days. I have also, I made some hats. Josie, that white box behind you. Josie, turn around that white box right there. Keep looking on top the white box if you could get that for Nana. Or right, Jim, can you get me that white box? So here's one of the hats I've made on my knitting machine. So I don't have it rolled up enough. It needs to get rolled up more. But there's one hat that I made on the knitting machine. And thank you, hon. This is another hat that I've made. This is a Hobby Lobby. It's called Fruit Salad. It's a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. The other one is a Red Heart. And I can't remember what it's called. And where's the other hat that I made? The pink and white one. Did I put it up here? Huh. Probably fell down the side of the sofa. No, that's the pink and black one. Well, anyways, like I said, my dog has kind of ruined some yarn. So I've had to salvage it. So 
I've been sitting and rolling up balls and saving the yarn that I can. So I have a big box here just full of yarn balls that I'm going to make into squares and make a scrappy blanket with. So I have a pink and white hat that I made too yesterday and I don't know what happened to it. And then I started just to play around and crochet last night. I started doing this. So this is going to become a bag. So and this is with the moss stitch. So I got this. And then I am got a purple, so I'm going to make granny squares with the purple because Raven asked for a blanket. So I have a month to get her blanket done for her birthday. And Jim's getting my big gift that I can show you my big gift that he got me that I am so super excited about and cannot wait till I get upstairs to get this set up and get this put in with my computer. But I got a cricket. <gasps> I've been wanting one of these for so long, and uh, he spoiled me. I was not expecting this. This is absolutely, positively going to be able to get me just about anything in the craft world. So let me give you that, because that's the heavy box. And then he got me the toolkit to go with it. So I'm not sure what Jimmy. all's in the box yet as to vinyl or anything that comes with it, but um, I'm going to get some at the Dollar Tree because... They've got perfectly fine vinyl there that I can use, and I cannot wait to get started on making whatever I decide to make with it. So, we'll be waiting for us to see what we can do with the Cricut in time. Let me give you that. Um, Tiana got me this bag here from Bath & Body Works. So it's the lavender, it's the sleep, but it's a lavender vanilla lotion. And um, it's the lavender vanilla spray. And I got from Ray, one that I got from Ray is this um, eucalyptus sage. I've been spraying that on my pillows at night, so I'll have to try this one too. It just smells delicious. I dropped the remote. And this here is a body wash. So here is a vanilla lavender body wash. Uh, I call it the boogie glue. <laughs> the cement, rubber cement. And then it comes with a hand cream. So that's like a little travel hand cream. I think this is like the shea butter one. Yeah, ultimate hydration body cream. That's the nice thick one. The room spray, body wash, and... I'm going to put Ray's in here just so they're all together. So that's what I got from Dylan and Tiana. And Kira got me a pack of these headbands. I have a red one like this one. So here's the other two. Um, Josie, you want to start bringing Nana some stuff over from there? I got this off at Tenu, which is what we're going to start doing. Nana. I'm going to start doing some Tenu hauls and show you some stuff from Tenu. Um... Just all the boxes and stuff over there in my... Pro I don't know. Everything's over there, I think, because we didn't take nothing upstairs. But I don't know how much these were, but they were really cheap. So I got them on like a lightning deal. I just started using Tenmu. So this is a black, blue, and purple lipstick. Okay. That has some of my stuff in it there, honey. I'll show you my Tenmu order because it was just a small one while they're looking for my presents. And here are some eyeliner, eyeshadow, whatever um, colors. I got black, purple, silver, blue, and this is like a deep purple. Even though it looks brown, but when you put it on, it is a deep purple. These were all like 79 cents a thing. Um, I got this little, it's called um, a phone pouch. So it's like a little clutch, but my phone fits in here and then I could fit other stuff in here. And then I got a four pack of a whole bunch of different witchy stickers, which we can go through at another time. And I got these beautiful earrings because I'm going to put a new hole in this ear so I can wear earrings again. This I got for, okay, I, I've admitted to you, I do smoke marijuana, I use it for pain, 
and one of my besties, and you know who you are. This is going to be in a gift coming to you. It says, I'd smoke my last bowl with you. You know who you are, right? <laughs> so there is that. And I just got, so if anybody would be interested in these, you can let me know if you've never done Tenmu. These are gift cards. I have three of them. Um, you scratch for the code for all new Temu app users. And this will give you a code on the back for um, discount off your stuff. So I do have three of those. So actually I might put those in my last couple of my my giveaways. So what's this box? Let's see. Uh, these are some fuzzy socks that I got from my dad. Ooh, I dropped one. <laughs> Jim's like, gosh dang it, I gotta keep fending up for you, woman. So I love my fuzzy slipper socks. So I got those from my dad. And then this I got from my dad. Let's see if I can get it out of here without it. I can take it out of the package now because I'm at home and I can put it on my entertainment center. And this is an angel. And my dad got these, but it says, Forever my sister, always my friend. But isn't she beautiful? Very beautiful. She's holding a butterfly. Can I see? Yes, you may see. Your mommy got one, too. All of us girls got one. My dad shops out of those, like, um, Finger Hut and all those kind of different catalogs. He does that shopping all year long. This is one of the gifts I got from Tina. So she works at the Dollar Tree. So she got me a box full of the fun fur of the Premier um, Just Yarn Eyelash. So there's some silver, blue, and red in here, which makes me happy because I love fun fur. Yes, I'm one of those fun fur people that I can put fur on just about anything. I got this from Odessa. So this is different perfumes. Um, also from Odessa, I have behind me, I got this. Um, it's for your back or your legs. It, you can turn it on and it vibrates. I just don't have any batteries yet to put in them, but I need to get some AA batteries. But for right now, it is working good to um, give my back some support so I can sit up. So I don't have to sit all the because these are deep seats in this. Yeah, I'm having trouble getting this back behind me. I got it. Are you happy for mommy? Yep, I am. So yes, let's go back over there. And this can go back over here. Oops. Um, oh here's these. I got these from Kieran Damien and the boys. I had these are what I had put on my wish list. She went off my wish list on Amazon, so she got me these fuzzy socks. They're slipper socks. So, yay. I had these on my, like I said, my wish list. And Jim got me, the other three are dirty, but he got me this cup. And it has the moose, a deer, a bear, and a wolf. It has the four mugs in it. So, because I have my Keurig and everything set up right here. He also got me this, oh, smell wonderful candle. So this is a cookies and cocoa candle. And he got me this coffee mug, Ursula, because I love Ursula. And he got me this Maleficent. So, oops, I have two of these now because he was like, when I bought one for myself, he said he's sitting there like, but he couldn't say anything because I had it in the cart. But that's okay because I love Maleficent. So I have two of these. So this will get used for coffee, but I'm just like right down here and it just is something to stick all my little gadgets in. And you're in your living room, too. Yeah, it's my living room. And he also got me, and this is delicious. These are from Aldi's, but it's little K cups. It's chocolate raspberry. And let me tell you what, it tastes like chocolate raspberry. It is delicious. Something they had out. Yeah, it's something they had out. So he picked that up for me. Well, here's the other. If I can reach it. This is the other pink hat that I made. 
on my knitting loom. So this one, it's just going to go to a family member because I can't sell this one because this one, didn't realize it at the time, but it has a lot of drop stitches. Like the worst of it, I've hidden, you know, because I've actually sewed this up and around. But like I said, this is just going to go to whoever in the family needs a hat to wear. Here you go. Here's a hat. Um, is that everything? Uh, no, I didn't. What's in here? Oh, I didn't even know we got this. Okay. This is from my dad because he gives this every year. It is a big thing of Prego. Um, I had also got a big huge box of Kraft macaroni and cheese and a big huge box of chicken ramen. He gets them every year for everybody. Um, but it, we had all of our stuff in the trunk together and Dylan went and got their stuff out and our stuff was still in there. And he unfortunately thought the macaroni and cheese and the ramen was for them, but hey, whatever. They'll need it more than we do. Um, so I'm not going to make a stink about it. Is there anything? Yeah, that bag there, hon. That Walmart bag. And that other little box there at your hand. Yeah, that's from Tina. Tina had also got me this. So it is so you can make thin um, shavings, like a zucchini thin. Like, since I don't really eat bread, um, it'll help me shave down like a zucchini if I want to use like a raw zucchini as bread. Or I can shave down apples or carrots or anything where you can make them like, what are they, what do they call them? The thin strips, the... Julian's I think they call it the Julian so she got me this to try I'm gonna I think that's pretty cool I got that and then here hon what's in these I don't recall these but huh. <laughs> this is all yeah this isn't mine this is little man's clothes Pierce's clothes they forgot so yes so I think that's pretty well Oh, Kira also got me this set of scissors. So these were on my wish list. And she got me, let me put these down. She got, oh, I can't even get to it. I'll show you a corner of it, guys, because I'm sitting on it. Because I had this in my wish list and I absolutely have wanted this. So this is a big, huge, I mean, it's huge, fuzzy blanket and it's a pastel. And it's so warm, and it's pastel rainbow. So I have used that since I've opened it. So that's, I think, everything, right? I did get a box of yarn from my dad, but I've already kind of gone through that and used some of it and put it away. It was kind of like, I don't know if it was um, his girlfriend's because she's crochets or if it was my mom's leftover. But I could tell it was like, it, it was used up skeins and everything. It wasn't like whole brand new. That's where I got the, the fruit salad hat. This yarn came out of that box, so I used that. So, yes, also when I get my order, my my money in i'm gonna do my get my temu order so we can do a temu opening and uh huh what'd you say shut up so yes i'm gonna start doing some temu hauls maybe like a once a month thing because i want to get paid once a month and when they have lightning deals they're cheap and it's awesome stuff so i guess that's it um like i said i'm sorry i haven't been here for 10 days but it has been crazy chaotic tiring and i've physically been in a lot of pain and there's been a lot of noise and i literally spent like what three four days just non-stop wrapping presents like i would get like an hour or two maybe three of sleep and get up and start doing it again I must have wrapped at least close to four or five hundred presents. So that's all we gave out to the kids. Yeah, that's all that we gave out to the kids. You know, it's our kids got spoiled. But like I said, when you combine our two families together as one, we're now a family of twenty. So that's an extra large Brady Bunch size. Extra, extra, extra large, right? So it's all right. All right, guys, are you getting bored? My little co-host has been here just looking at all my stuff. Did that get squished and leak out? Is it all over the floor now? The water got popped. Mm. All right, guys, we're going to let you go. I've blabbered on long enough to you. So if you have not yet, 
would you please consider subscribing to my channel yeah, and, and like. for all my new subscribers thank you so much i'm so glad you chose to subscribe to my channel we hit to my 500 for christmas and that made me so happy how exciting so i've been i still got to finish my 24 days of giveaways okay so when we're done with that i get a little bit of a break i will put together a small little um giveaway for hitting my 500 it just can't be at this moment because i've got to take time because it costs money to ship everything so and it costs money to get a prize get going on so <coughs> sorry i had a tickle in my throat um i forget what I, oh yeah so thank you all so much thank Bye. you to all my regular ogs that have been here thank you to all those that have been here from the beginning Bye. and take part and comment and you know you participate in everything so thank you i hope to see a lot more start to participate with like make-alongs or different like um giveaway things that we do or whatever i'm just going to hopefully i'm i, I need to figure out what i want to do for the new year i don't know like when i sit and think what all do i want to do fun for the new year my brain goes blank but the one thing i probably will do once a month is a big temu order um and we have um some i'll do some small yarn orders or whatever it's just we'll have to see what i decide to do what i decide to get to do unboxings for you guys um so yeah that's a wrap but i want to do some fun stuff if any of you guys have any ideas or you would like to see me do something please let me know you can always leave a comment or if you'd like to email me you can leave me an email over at my email which is trisha's creative treasures at gmail.com um can you open pull that gate out a little bit lagatha's trying to go out in the kitchen honey pull the gate out because she's trying to go under the bottom just pull the bottom out a little bit we have to keep a gate up so the dog stays out of the living room but the cats we had to put a blanket because my furnace isn't working too good so we had to put a blanket over the doorway to go out to the kitchen to keep the heat in the living room and my kitchen's an ice box because yeah the, what's hey, making it really warm in here is the electric heater in my entertainment center so it's a little too hot but then at night it's appreciated because it gets so cold at night so yeah the cats need to get in and out cats are allowed in here they just sit and come and snuggle or they lay around what are you telling her to say what are you supposed to say? Did Jimmy tell you something bad to say? No. No? Did he tell you something smart alecky to say? No. No? What do you tell her to say? She always tells me. Oh, okay. Yep. Come on. You got to help Mont Nana finish. Are you going to help me finish the video? So, you got to tell them. You are the those are your words. You're the one that always says. What do they have to do? Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Thumbs and up. Subscribe. Subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. And hit the, the notification, notification bell so you're notified every time <clears throat> I upload a video. And a leave a comment. Yes, guys. I love to hear from you. I love to have, you know, sometimes I don't get the chance to leave a comment. I'm trying not to comment on my giveaway videos. And sometimes I just am so tired or whatever. I get it one and I totally forgot that I looked at it. And if I don't make a comment and I realize it later, I will comment. I try very hard to make a comment to each and every one of you. Because I want you to know that I appreciate your comments and I appreciate you being here. So, in that words, I'm going to get off here. I love you all. And until the next one, bye.